A viewer sent us this cell phone video showing a man driving in the wrong direction. And look at that. He slammed head on into that semi, killing him instantly. Alexandra Lewis spoke to that eyewitness. She joins us now live with his terrifying account. Alex. All lanes are open here behind me, a far different scene than we dealt with for hours earlier today. And we still don't know why Chris Coleman drove head on into this semi truck, but we do know troopers say that he had a gruesome death today. His body, his charred body was thrown from his car upon impact. 80,000 pounds versus a 3,000 pound car. Uh, there, was, there was really no way that the driver of the wrong way vehicle was going to survive. The exact moments 35 year old Chris Coleman of Xenia crashes head on into a semi truck captured by a Fox 45 viewer. All of a sudden, he, he or she just whips right over uh, through the U turn lane and right onto the, the other side of the highway. This witness grabbed his phone to film Coleman driving the wrong way on I 70, but never predicted what would happen next. I mean, it was just like, enormous. I mean, it was two stories worth of fire. I mean, it, I mean, that whole thing was just demolished. This anonymous witness estimates Coleman was driving 80 miles per hour and doesn't think it was an accident. You can see that I was like, I didn't even hold the camera up at the right angle because once I actually seen what was happening, it's just, I it just, just, I couldn't believe what I was just seeing. All of a sudden, I could just see he just veered right for that semi. I mean, I guess he just chose that. That's the one that he wanted to drive into because there's not, I don't believe it was an accident. Investigators say it's too early to tell if the Xenia man intentionally ran into the semi truck. More times than not, it's impairment related. Uh, there's nothing we can confirm here right now. We didn't find any alcoholic beverages. What's left of Coleman's car, so small, it was picked up and removed with a forklift. I guess you just never know what's going on in everybody else's life, but. I don't, I don't think that would have been uh, the right end to whatever story they had. Troopers say the truck di driver did slow down, but it was too late at that point. He did walk away miraculously with just a single scratch on his ear. Reporting live here in Enon tonight, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.